Welcome to another video folks. We're out here for the day at our secondary camping spot. Uh, still a lot of snow out here. I've got some falling on my head right now. Nice day though. It's around uh, plus 7 degrees Celsius. So we're just going to hang out here, make a campfire, have some burgers. Uh, cut down a few trees in there, maybe set up a tarp. They're saying it could possibly have some rain today, but it doesn't look like it to me. Uh, anyway, we're going to just have a nice relaxing day. I hope you guys enjoy. Also wanted to test out some new gear. I uh, bought some uh, uh, nice inexpensive gear. I uh, got myself a Cybertron 27 liter backpack. I got uh, a nice uh, around $40 uh, tarp here. So I'm looking forward to seeing how they work out as uh, inexpensive options. So this is the uh, Cybertron Falcon 27 liter backpack. Not a very big backpack, but uh, it's got plenty of pockets and expansion, which makes it great. It, it's uh, kind of a knockoff, I guess, of the Maxpedition, which is your higher end uh, original. Uh, but this one is uh, fairly rugged. It's a 900 uh, denier, denier, whatever they, how they pronounce it, but it's a fairly rugged backpack. Um, happy with it. It seems pretty strong. Uh, not very happy with the fact that these side straps are very, very short. I can barely put this tarp here on the side uh, and in order to bring this uh, air mat, sorry the sleeping mat I had to add these extra straps at home so uh, it is great that it has all this expandability but the original straps are a bit too short all in all though the uh, storage room on it is really fantastic so plenty of pockets over on the top here I'm able to store some different types of batteries over here some cordage, some snacks, there's also expandable pockets here for batteries as well or anything else, pens, anything that's small. The uh, other front pocket here, uh, which is great because it unzips fairly far, so I'm able to bring, here I have uh, my remote control for my drone, carry in here. So again, a fair amount of room to carry that. So again, more mesh pockets on the inside for storage. And also we have fairly large pocket on the inside the main one which uh, has extra mesh pockets there and a, a fair amount of storage room so uh, yeah all in all pretty good good for a day pack because of uh, the expandability on the outside I could see myself doing an overnighter uh, but with not uh, very large gear so basically a uh, minimalist overnighter would be workable with this uh, backpack time to put it all back together I do like all these the fact that it's got a whole bunch of different pockets, it makes it easier to keep stuff organized. I am not the most organized individual in the world. I tend to have gear bombs wherever I go. My gear is always spread all over the place. So having all these separate little areas makes it uh, basically mandatory to keep your stuff somewhat organized. All right, folks, so I know that this is gonna sound like it was prepared this way, but it really wasn't. It's, it's a testament to my poor organization skills. We got here, we were uh, processing some firewood, and I realized I forgot my flint, and I didn't bring an alternative way to start a fire. Uh, Sandra just headed back to the truck. She just got back. Sandra, you wanna tell the people what happened on your trip? So I was in the truck looking for some matches that I thought that I had in my other pack that I have in there and I couldn't find it anyways so uh, 
then uh, these two nice conservation officers stopped by to uh, check against to see if I was hunting. <laughs> Anyways, and uh, so I explained to them that we were in here for the day and forgot to bring our flint, so I was looking for means to start a fire and um, they were nice enough that they went through their whole truck <laughs> and found some fire starter material for us which uh, not quite sure what it is it, it looks it's these little pellets and it kind of looks like wood shaving and a cotton ball that we can use for tinder and some matches. <laughs> <laughs> waterproof matches. Yeah, waterproof matches. So I thank them so much. I said uh, if we couldn't get a means of starting a fire today, we'd probably just set up a tarp and eat beef jerky and go back home. But anyway, they saved the day, so we'll be able to have our hamburgers now. <laughs> Now, the funny part is, is, while Sandra was going through that transaction, I'm going to show you what I came up with during that time. I'm getting a cloud. Ah. It would work. We charred it a few different places. Right now I'm getting cloud cover. We need to get the coal started. So, massive thank you to the uh, New Brunswick Ranger officers that uh, helped us out. Really appreciate it. We're going to start that fire. Yeah, so in case you're wondering, it's really, really embarrassing having forgotten the, the, the fire. The, ferro rod and uh, even lighter matches anything like that. I mean, I've never ever forgotten every single method of starting a fire. I usually have at least two methods just in case one fails so it's really embarrassing but uh, we're gonna have a fire after all so here we go. So This one should be a cinch to start. Now, there's a set of matches here. These are extra long, windproof, which is great. Comes with a little striker right there. I'm gonna leave it in there so we can put it back in. Woo! Smell the sulfur when that goes easy. Keep that. Yes. Put Thank it. you again. Very appreciated. <laughs> Looking forward to trying this stuff out some other day. Burns up to ten thousand. Uh, burns up to a thousand degrees. Hmm. Eco-friendly. Insta fire. Neat. Yeah. We'll keep that in our first aid kit. That's always coming with us. Also. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> Should have a, a lighter in the first aid kit, or at least matches, or even a spare ferro rod. That'd probably be the best because it's always waterproof. Kind of don't want to put that on the snow. Yeah.
Yeah. Dense. Now we have a good uh, base of firewood uh, going. We're gonna build ourselves a little bench. It's gonna be pretty simple. Just a uh, couple of short logs uh, for the legs and uh, some longer logs uh, as cross pieces. Probably three should be good enough. And then uh, we'll be able to put our uh, sleeping foam sleeping mat on top of it. So we'll have a nice uh, bench to sit on. This one here, dead standing. It's already broken off once at the top, so I think I should be okay. Shouldn't break off. I'll try to cut her down, and then we'll be able to cut this one in two uh, to get our bench started. You can move it forward and backwards if you need to. It's probably a little bit close to the fire right now. So we'll move it back, put the foam mat in. We've got a place to sit now. There we go. One wilderness couch. Missing a beer. So I'm gonna wait for my cameraman, camera person, to join me before I open this one. It's a special treat. Uh, it's a bit pricier, but uh, it's uh, it's called Off Grid Ales, and uh, they're sorry, I don't have my glasses. Harvey Lake, New Brunswick, which is in southern New Brunswick in the Fredericton area. Um, everything is done off grid, basically with uh, solar power as far as I know um, so uh, 
they do a really really good beer this one is called the high tower double ipa and uh highly recommend it if you're ever in the area it's it's hey it's quality it's really good <laughs> slow motion draw so I don't think oh, no nope, she's not a twist up sort of out there we go see and what's that percentage finger I'm the glasses 7.8 7 .8. so no messing around Cheers, folks. Oh, that's so good. Wow. 7.8. 7.8? Off your deal. Not sponsored, just a fan of their work. So we're getting a bit of cloud cover and uh, this gives us the opportunity to set up that tarp that uh, we got. Recently got it off Amazon. It's the uh, Ultimate Survival Technology Tarp UST. Uh, it wasn't very expensive and it's got a, a good size. I, I don't remember the dimensions but I'll put them up uh, somewhere on the screen. And just to give you guys an idea, it's it's uh, good quality. It's uh, got uh, reflective material on the inside. I'm just going to pull it out of the, uh, the backpack and give you guys a look. It's got a neat feature in that it includes a zipper, and uh, with that zipper, uh, you can make an A-frame shelter out of it. I'm not going to be setting up this time, and that'll be for another time, uh, but I can see a million uses for this tarp. It's fairly light. It's not the lightest tarp out there, but it's fairly light. And uh, so here's to give you an idea of the, uh, you see right here, basically with the zippered function, how you can turn it into basically like a tent except you know no front and back so that's fine um, so it comes with a, a set of pegs so here's, here's the tarp it pulls up fairly small as you can see here on the inside it's got a reflective material to uh, move some heat back to you you can actually use it you can wrap it around yourself as a emergency uh, uh, emergency heating blanket. It's got a good size. It's got a, a good amount of guy line. So we're going to set it up across these trees right behind us and reflect some of that heat back to us and if there's any rain it should uh, protect us from the elements. So right there you can see on the inner side where Sander is we have reflective material that should have bounced back a little bit of heat. It's not a big concern. It's not really cold. This is just in case we get some, uh, some rain. But keep a little bit of the coolness off the back. Here's the tarp on this side. Could do a little bit of a better job staking it out, but it's got a good size. I'm 
gonna throw our, our hardwood on the fire so we can get some coals to cook our burgers. Toasting fast. Oh, my burger for Sandra. And Sandra likes hers. <coughs> Deluxe with some toppings. Yes. And. Thank you very much for uh, for the uh, two individuals who helped out Sandra. It's greatly appreciated. I, I hope you guys comment somewhere on on this video because uh, I'd like to know who I'm thanking. So it's really appreciated. It, it saved uh, saved the trip, really. I mean, we still could have uh, had a good time, but uh, wouldn't have had burgers. Would have beef jerky for supper. Mm. Oh, it's a good burger too. Mm. Absolutely beautiful night. The wind's totally died down. Sun's uh, setting. I don't know if that'll capture it. Probably won't. But uh, the colors outside, beyond the, the trees, there are just gorgeous. It's uh, absolutely perfect. I'm kind of wishing I had brought a sleeping bag and maybe a tent. But uh, wow, what a great night! Love it. All right, everyone, we're about to wrap it up for the evening. I uh, still have a little bit more video coming up as we're going to do a teardown and hike on out. But uh, I want to take this opportunity to thank everybody for joining us. Uh, it's really, really appreciated. I want to thank everybody who subscribed to, to, the, to the channel. Uh, having over 600 uh, subscribers so far, it's amazing. I, I didn't really expect it. So, uh, again, a really huge thank you. Big thank you to the cons conservation officers who uh, provided the matches for us so we could have our fire. Uh, it's, uh, it was a bit embarrassing, uh, but and humbling, but a learning experience. I usually always have two messes of starting a fire, and definitely going to make sure I have it going forward. So, I, once again, thanks everybody for joining us. It's really, really appreciated. I hope you guys uh, enjoy the video. Take care. Thanks, everyone.